Hey, this is Leonard with Indie Band Coach, and we are here today to talk about five-minute posters with PosterMyWall.com. So let's get started. On PosterMyWall.com, you'll click on the Create a Design button, and just scrolling down the page, you'll see that there are many, many, many pre-made templates out there, and these are all menus. So you'll see artistic, inspirational, um, you can see, you know, if you want to start with a bank, a blank canvas you can do that as well um, event flyers and you can see scrolling here there are lots of different sizes but we're going to start with the concert and band flyer menu and even in that menu there are a ton of ideas but don't let that intimidate you when I use this site what I try to do is actually just find a picture especially if I'm in a hurry uh, find a poster that's actually just got you know maybe a picture that I can replace that's got a design that I like that fits whichever band I'm working with and in this case I'm going to choose this kind of green tan uh, combo here it's got a nice sized picture at the top and it's got a good band name at the top so I'm gonna go ahead and choose this and just to give you an idea, you can um, add photos from Facebook, you can add a stock photo or upload from your drive, you can change the text. Um, I'll show you adding a schedule here in just a little bit, uh, clip art, and you can also do some editing with the background. And over on the right are just some more design elements. Again, we saw the menu where you can actually resize your design on the front page it's also here within the actual template and as well as the background we can go crazy and have it be what other whatever color scheme we want and speaking of colors I'm not a real big fan of this green so I know it's a good compliment to the whole thing but I just kind of want to take it down a little bit so I'm actually going to click on the picture and choose a different filter for uh, the main picture and then we'll change the picture itself. So I'm kind of liking this tan filter. It matches just a little bit better. So now I'm going to go ahead and replace it with an image of a band. And this is actually the uh, an image of an artist I'm working with, Julia Khan. And let me find the one I'm looking for. Here we go. A nice image from one of the video shoots that we had a chance to uh, be a part of. And as you can see, once you upload your picture, um, it actually puts it in the same exact uh, place of the picture that you replaced. So it's a great way to kind of already know what it's going to look like. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it just a little bit because I want it to be a little bit more focused on the artist and not just on all of the background. There we go. Just a little bit bigger. I like that. And now I'm just going to kind of tinker with it a little bit again this is a five minute poster this is you are in a hurry you've got stuff to do uh, you know you forgot to create a poster for the venue that you're you know playing at in a few weeks and you're just getting emails so you got to get this done so um, this is an awesome place to start so as we can see here there are all kinds of font options um, you can resize the font obviously after you get it in there um, and make it fit exactly what you want it to look like and I'm gonna kind of go with this and resize it move it down just a little bit and that makes me happy and now that I already kind of know that I like the layout um, I kind of want to make this poster fit what I want it to fit so I'm going to add in a a quote here from one of the newspapers and again everything's adjustable my lines a little bit too long so I am going to kind of re retype it but then I can actually resize the text to be exactly what I need it to be so just want it on one line there we go and now we will go ahead and change our venue information one of LA's top venues and we're going to say this is at the Mint in LA again the text is just a little bit too big um, placeholders are not the easiest to move but it's okay because I just want to resize the text Now under that, I think I will go ahead and type in 
what the address is for the venue. 610 West Pico Boulevard, Los Angeles. Now give a little bit of show information. You can put your ticket information down here. And again, this is just one of hundreds of templates that are on here. But as you can see, very, very easy to customize. Um, it's already looking great. It's It looked great before we even messed with it. So you're just kind of replacing it with your information. And I'm going to put juliaconmusic.net, the website, and then the website of the venue, themintla.com. And that looks great. Let me go ahead and edit the color. And now we can share, save, or download. And as you can see, there are some different options here for downloading. For poster, poster quality download, um, it would be 8 bucks. For photo quality download, um, it would be $3. And then just for social media purposes, if you just want to you know, download the poster for free just to use it on social media, um, you can do that. Um, you know, three bucks for a, a photo quality will probably be fine. Um, if you want to do eight and a half by eleven posters and even get those printed for uh, the club or venue that you're going to be at. Now you can see that it's just um, a great image file now that we can use and save and send and do whatever we like to do with. And it took us about five minutes. Obviously, I was doing a lot of talking, but. It took about five minutes to do, and it's a really cool design. So a couple of other things that I want to show you, uh, just in terms of design, if you want to take a little bit longer, is you can start to get creative with the pictures and the backgrounds. So the first thing I want to do is actually take a look, and I actually want to um, put a mask um, on top of this picture, basically cut her out of the background, just to kind of give it a little bit more um, dimension. So... There are a lot of different ways to do this, but it makes it really easy here on PosterMyWall.com to where all you really need to do is I like to use the um, curved points because it seems to kind of stick to the image better. But if you click on that and hit mask and just kind of outline whatever it is that you're looking for, it automatically makes it transparent and kind of deletes it deletes the background from the image so now I can make the image even a little bit larger nudge a couple of things here and now I've got it's a little bit off-center which is what I'm going for because um, you know I for example you might have a poster that you want to use for several dates let's say you've got several dates at one venue or you've got a little tour going on um, if you click on the uh, schedule you can actually select a layout for um, a concert schedule so and I'll show you here in a second what it looks like but for concert schedule I kind of want it to be right justified since she's on the left so I will enter in the you know three you know sample venues here and you can add venues or take them off you don't have to have three that's just what the default is but after you enter in the name of the venue, then you can actually select, um, if you go up to the date field, you can actually select not only the dates, but you can select the date format that you want. And I don't think I want 2017 on this, so I'm just going to change it to the day, the date, and the month. And 16th, 17th, and 18th looks good I'm gonna add that table and there we go and now we can just adjust the table blow it up just a little bit and make it a little bit more balanced get that out of her eye I'm sure she wouldn't like that and now we have a table or a schedule um, with a little bit more um, creativity to it if you will again it's not that Taking 10 minutes for a flyer should be, you know, too long to consider. But there's a couple more things. Um, 
So since we've got the venues listed at the top, this is obviously not going to be a venue at the bottom. So one idea is you could list the social media uh, sites there for you, for you or your artist. So for you or your band, I should say. Um, so what I'm going to do is basically kind of take this um, gray, or I'm sorry, green box at the bottom. And I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to put the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram um, sites in that. I'm going to make a little, if I can get it here, there we go. I'm going to make a little, little grid here for social media. Get that where I want it. And I'm going to do copy text. There we go. Copy text again. Get that placed. That makes me happy. And Facebook. I'm going to do Twitter. And now Instagram. And again, we've got some miscellaneous date info here that will change. And I'm just going to, I think I'll just have this say live. And we should be good to go there. So I'm going to add over to the left. I'm going to click on the actual text so I can add some plain text. There's also a fancy tool if you want to have some different text options. But uh, I'm just going to put the word live in here and get it centered. And that's kind of the gist of Poster My Wall. It is literally um, choosing some templates of things that look good for you. You know, I'd recommend finding one or two that work really well. You know, maybe using those depending on how often you play and how close in proximity um, the clubs that you play are to each other. But maybe just have, you know, a couple of designs that are kind of similar in nature for a couple of months and then incorporate additional designs as you go. It's tempting to try and incorporate, you know, a different design for every single flyer that you do. But take some time, brand yourself, use it have fun with it, and cut out a lot of time uh, creating flyers. So that is Poster My Wall.